Okay, this next question came from Instagram, came from SHK Nikki uh, at Instagram. So the question was, what can I do to become a professional dog handler? So that's a common question we get. The first thing is, go out there and get yourself your basic handler school. A lot of places offer this. I know some places it's for police or military. Um, here at Ford K9, we do offer it for anybody who wants to become a detection dog handler. Most important, no matter where you go, is you need a school that has a good reputation within the industry, follows scientific and psychological principles, but that the course curriculum matches the same that most police or military go through. So therefore, when you are putting yourself out there to look for a job, your basic handler school has the same things that many of those that were law enforcement or military went through. Because just like you, military members and law enforcement members have all had to go through a basic handler school. So if you get that basic handler school conducted and that school should have things like leash control, leash manipulation, footwork, uh, how to read your dog, how do odors work, and put you through a number of different things within canine first aid, canine care and maintenance, and so on. There's plenty of things that a basic handler school should go through. You need at least minimum for a basic handler school, four to six weeks, if not more. I would recommend eight weeks or more. Um, there are various ones out there. Some go through step programs, which means you go through a level one and level two. So just do your research, do your homework, and go find a school uh, that offers that. I know obviously here at Ford K9, we do offer basic handler schools at our place here in Las Vegas. Um, in addition to that, go out there, network. Find those companies that are looking for uh, detection dog handlers. The detection dog handler industry is growing like crazy. There are a ton of uh, new positions opening up, whether it be canine conservation, whether it be search and rescue, forensics, all different types of aspects that do not require law enforcement or military as a prerequisite. Many different civilian programs offer these detection dog programs to anybody who has at least completed a basic handler course and is willing to go through additional training with whoever hires them. So go out there, do your research, go make friends, connect, volunteer, but get that basic handler school. That is your very first step that'll help you on that road to becoming a professional detection dog handler.